What's up everybody, it's Daydreams, welcome back to another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below, we do daily videos here on the channel. Make sure you let your alliance know and any allies that you have in your kingdom, because you will get better from the channel. We've got almost 300 videos, tons of guides, tons of strategy videos, so make sure you guys hang around, subscribe, meet some new friends down in the comments section below. Okay guys, so this is another edition of the Hero, um, the Hero Palace building, where you can get your heroes, Bernard, the... The, um, what is he? The whip? The whip wielder? Um, spanks the king or whatever? Okay, so, you can place your heroes inside of buildings and then you get the buffs from it. So, as you can see, Bernard's got 5% research, 5% building. So, right now I've got 33% and 82% on research and building speed. But when I add him, it gives 5% to each and 5.5 to building. So, um, right now, let's see, let's check each building. Okay, so, okay, only building speed he has right now. So, if I got, if I have a hero that has training speed, I have to choose which troop I want to get the speed for. So, as you can see, it tells you all the different things that it can do. Um, okay, so, so Bernard's mostly for building speed. So, um, another thing that I learned is that I believe the Hero Palace um, is for level, you need to be a level 30 castle to get it. But, apparently, they're going to be changing that because, um, you know, everyone's a little bit upset, like, that they don't have the Hero Palace. So, it will be available soon for lower castles, guys. They're going to lower the requirements and lower the amount of resources it takes to upgrade it. So, as you can see, more information. We've got two hero slots right now. i got to get all the way up to six to get it to um, three hero slots. And, you know, it takes a lot to upgrade this. Um, let's see. Well, I've already been doing it for, you know, a day. So it took two over two days for the first um, upgrade. And it took a lot of resources. Tons of iron and mithril. Um, okay, so I already told you guys about the skills and everything. But let's see what all the buildings we can put it in. So you can see the little plus above buildings. Oh, I can do it here. Okay, so building speed. It's mostly going to give you um, building speed. It's not going to give you any... But maybe other heroes have foraging speed and stuff like that. It'd be great if there was one that had like um, rally size or reinforcement boost. Um, maybe, um, you know, something for the market where it reduces the trade cost. I, trust me, they're going to be adding to the heroes to make it do more things. So that's going to be pretty cool. I wonder if we can do anything with the Ancient Dragon Terror. Nope. Okay, so just the main buildings I see so far. I guarantee you'll be able to upgrade your scout like with the, um, you know with it as well so oh another thing that's new um right here you can go to the traveling merchant and it says bank you can go here and you can invest and then it gives you more gold back so invest 1000 gold and keep signing in daily and you will get 1250 gold in the next seven days so i don't know it's like a 25 percent payback maybe we'll invest do i want to invest a thousand though i don't know about that i don't got a lot of gold try not to spend as much you know i've got a close to maxed out castle so you know, I don't really have to spend as much anymore. I've spent enough to get here and to get where I am. So I think uh, I think I'm cool on that. Uh, you know, buying a bunch of gold. I get enough from the events and stuff to keep me afloat. And since I'm in a good alliance, I already checked my gifts earlier. And now look, I've already got one, two, three, four, four legendary gifts and a bunch of gold gifts. So right there, 31 hour speed ups, guys. This is the importance of being in a good alliance. 500 gold right there. That's half a shield for 24 hours. Up. Oh, Another 500 gold. So there's a thousand. Uh, there's 1500. So that's a day and a half of shielding. And then the rest of these. Here we'll just open them all at once. You'll see that I'll probably get another. Yep. Another 50 times. Uh, 50 gold times 8. So another 400 gold. So yeah. That really really helps. But um, be, while I got you guys here. Tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have an amazing Dragon Campaign live stream. Let me go and see who we're playing. Did it match us yet? We're still getting matched, so it hasn't said who we're getting matched with yet. But, um, should be a good time. I want to be in this top, uh, you know, top ring. So we're, where are we at? Are we ranked in the, like, Marvelous Master? That's, like, in the top, like, you know, 300? I wish it would tell us our rank. Okay, we're ranked 278th. And you guys got to remember that we had two losses in the first two games, and we haven't lost since. Because, uh, no one showed up. No, you know, because... the it's just uh, really hard to communicate in the Alliance. Let's see what the highest ranking people have. So, okay, that's rank 100. Can we go up? 
Nope, it's only letting us go down. So maybe we can find that later. We'll do a separate video on that. By the way, good news coming from the Dragon Campaign. I can't talk about it yet, but good news coming from the Dragon Campaign. Um, where do I want to go? Oh, yeah. Kingdom Conquest. On Saturday, 8 p.m. EST, we'll be facing Kingdom 836. Apparently, they have, like, 12 or 14 Prestige 5 castles. So it should be uh, pretty insane uh, battles. And I'll be live streaming all night from 8 p.m. on. So, wow, 50 research stones. So, you know, guys, we've been getting a lot of research stones and badges right here at the market. So make sure you collect those as often as you can. Um, I think they are starting to put more of these in the game. I still think they need some kind of building or event where they can give us research stones each day. But um, good news coming from the bot the whole bot situation uh they stopped updating the facebook version of the game now i've had so many of you contact me and say listen we don't have phones we don't have tablets we've been playing on pc the whole time we're really scared that we're going to lose all of our progress do not worry guys for one you're going to be able to keep playing on it for a little longer until they just like shut it down completely but for two you're going to be able to download an emulator there's one called blue stacks there's one called Mimu. If you don't know how to find them, just search them in Google or ask in the comment section. Either me or someone else will help you out. Um, anyone who knows about that stuff, if you see a comment about it, please help them out. Uh, they're all worried about losing their progress, but yeah, have no fear. You will be able to um, get an emulator, and it works pretty good. You know, it's just like having a phone screen on your computer. So um, yeah, you can look. I just got research stones. Now I got ten badges. So yeah. Good, good things coming into the game, guys. I think that the heroes, um, you know, they're going to have some good benefits and stuff. And so far, it doesn't look too overpowering. And I'm going to come out with a more comprehensive guide. Like, So basically, what I think you should upgrade with it is um, I think you should basically try to get to level 40. On your way to level 40, I would say donate about 10% of your um, experience to the heroes that way you can get those buffs as well because remember you're only going to get those buffs in one march that's the march that the hero is in like bernard's my strongest one right now so when i send a march out let's go ahead and show you here let's uh hit a monster when i send a march out let's say i send march two with a dragon and the hero can't be selected yet they haven't put it in the game yet but i will be able to select bernard's and i can send out then on my second march i can select the other guy so, um, it is going to be important to get as many hero slots open as possible, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. And your stats that stick with you for every march, like these, that's way more, way more important than to, um, have just one single march. That single march is going to be good for your, like, skill attacks. Like, you're going to want to put your best hero in for your, like, first major attack, like your skill attack or your dual attack. But your main skills and your main stats or that's what's going to be important overall so now that i'm at 45 lord i've already got the dual skill i everything over this i can put into my heroes like uh i'll only get seven more um skill points once i get to six or seven once i get to lord 46 and i could put that you know uh 30 million experience into multiple heroes to make them better so that's pretty much it for this video guys I did an awesome ancient battlefield war video for you guys and it's not getting very many views it's popping up on the screen right now go watch that it's such a good video you guys will love it it's everything that you want war gore just tearing people up we zero to 22 million p4 and if you click my logo right there you will be able to subscribe so thank you so much teamwork makes your smash the thumbs up button i'll see you guys in the next video peace